everyone, it's Lisa. Happy Friday. Happy Real Friday. <laughs> I did not get to go to get my V-beam done on my neck yesterday because the girl had the flu. They texted me on Wednesday night and said that whoever was supposed to do it had the flu. So, I did not have it done. So, I thought I would come back on the Real Friday and show you a few things that I got and just do a quick video. And I thought I would go ahead and explain what a V-beam is. Not that I really know, but what they have told me is the V-beam is the best one to use if your discoloration is vascular. And the, um, the discoloration I have is from sun damage, and it's the type that gets red sometimes, and then sometimes it goes away, and if you push on the color, it comes back. It's, you know, like that. So a lot of times you'll see... Um, like golfers necks will have it. It's just from being in the sun too long. And so that is what it is. So I'm going to wait and they're going to reschedule me. So today I got inspired again. One of you commented on my last Friday's video and mentioned Valeria Maza and I had never heard of her. So you know I had to look her up on Pinterest and I found this picture right here. And so that is what I did my makeup. It's kind of like another style of 90s makeup. It's just like the purple, but I brought this out a little bit more. And the liner is, um, you know, more waterline liner. It looks like, I don't know what color eyes she has because it, they're dark in here. But, um, and then I did the waterline and I did not put on lashes because it wasn't really a lashy looking video, a lashy looking look. But what really attracted me to this look is this lipstick because I have been holding out on you guys with this lipstick because I want to do a video on like um, unique color lipsticks that I like. Like unique color lipsticks for the nude lip lover. That's, that's what it'll be. And this was one of them. And I bought this weeks ago. Yeah, I think it was actually around Christmas I bought this. No, it was around New Year's, right around New Year's, because it was right around that sale at Dillard's, and one of the girls had this on at Lancome, and I loved it, and she said, oh, I, I use this on everyone. She is a professional makeup artist. She actually does a lot of bridal work, and she said it looks good on everyone, and when she showed it to me, it's Lancome Oh My, number 116, and when she showed it to me, I was just like, mm, are you sure that's what you have on? <laughs> And she was like, yeah. And so I got it. And this is the first time I'm actually wearing it with a lip liner. And when I, I put it on with Estee Lauder Spice, because I wanted to give it a little bit more of this look. But when you wear this with no lip liner or a nude lip liner, it doesn't look quite as dark. I hope you can see that. Yeah, it's got a little bit of a sheen to it. Let me really... And it's a really pretty peachy, bronzy, just a really pretty color. It's like a bronzy nude color. I hope you can see it. I've still got some of my spray tan on and um, I just put lotion on my hands. Again, I did that again, but it is so pretty. So if you like this color or if you're like me and you like nude lips, but sometimes you just want maybe a little bit of color, this is a beautiful one. And this whole formula is really nice too. It's And it's got a little bit of a sheen. It's just a really pretty lipstick that I think you would like. And it, when I saw this, I was like, that is perfect. And it's, it's kind of like that 90s look, but maybe not as dark and not as drab. Okay, the next thing is something I kind of bought, not on a whim, because one day when I walked into Ulta, Dry Bar, is that what it is? Dry Bar? Yeah, Dry Bar was having an event at Ulta. And there was like three Dry Bar ladies there and they got me as soon as I walked in. And I said, well, I've been loving the Conair Infinity Pro. And um, they said, oh, you've got to try the Brush Crush. Have you ever tried that? Oh, you would love it. You would love it. And they were like, we're sold out. We just sold the last one. Then it came in. And here it is. It's a brush. Let's see how they describe it. Heated straightening brush. And have I got it in here? Where did I put it? Hold on. Here it is. It's a heated straightening brush. And really, there's not much to it. It fits very nicely in your hand. And let's 
says that it goes up to 450, but goodness gracious, don't put it, unless you have the thickest, strongest, healthiest, coarsest hair, don't put it to 450. I put it on 350, and even that scared me a little bit, but that, it said in the book, you know, I think 400 and below. But anyway, 350 is what I put it on. And what I did is I dried my hair the whole way with my T3, and then you just go through your hair, and I have not even brushed my hair today. You just go through your hair like this, and it straightens it. And so I didn't even brush it or anything because I wanted you to see how it did. Now, you could probably get it a lot straighter than this, but I did as minimal passes as I had to, and um, I did not, you know, you're supposed to do, I think, one or two slow passes. Well, I was scared to do it slow, but after I bought it yesterday, when I was waiting for Will to get out of school, I read the reviews on Ulta, and that gets great. I think it gets like five stars. And so I am going to be testing this out um, carefully because I know it's a scary thing, but it did not feel as hot as you would think it does. And it cannot be as bad as a flat iron. I mean, those flat irons are just serious. And half the time, I don't want a totally flat look. I just want my hair straightened out. So that is what I did today and how I got this look. And I did the same thing I usually do with the clips, the little... Um, green clips that I was telling you about, I put one up here, I put one up here, and I actually put one down here until I couldn't stand it, and then I had to take this one out, because this one, this is the one that gets on my nerves, and then um, I just kind of let my bangs dry like that. So, if you have tried this, let me know down below. Okay, before I go on, I was going to show you the um, eyeshadow that I, here, let me pull you in. I wanted to show you the eyeshadow that I used today. It was this, and I have used this a couple of times now. I used it last weekend, and I used it the day that I went to see my parents, and my mom liked my makeup, but it is one of those Kevin Aquan little palettes. These things are nice. I've used the purple one, too, and what is this one called? Unblinking. So the colors are Lace, Nude, Gilded, Olive, and Espresso. Huh. I didn't know that was like an olive color. I used it though. Yep, it sure is. And then these little, you know, the little, um, they're like, not really glitters, cream foil. They are intense. I have actually almost ruined a look or two by putting that on the lid because it is, it's not just a little bit of glitter. It is complete foil. So today I knew a little bit better and I put it on a brush and I just put it on my inner corner. But these are amazing. I, I wish I had gotten a chance to use these already, but I promise I'll use one in a tutorial. There's a couple other ones I've got over there, but this one, if you like the cool tones, and it is so pigmented. I mean, you can, you do not have to worry about building up a color. It, before you know it, you're having, you know, you have plenty of color and you're just having to blend it out. So I really have enjoyed that. I've used this one, like I said, and the purple one. Okay, and then yesterday when I got home, John was home yesterday. He gets, like I've told you before, that shot in his eye for macular degeneration. He gets it once a month. And so he goes to work usually, goes and gets that shot, and then comes home. And that's, he was home. So I went and got Will from school, dropped him off, and then I went over to my parents' house. I wanted to see my niece, and my dad was home from work. So I wanted to sit with them. And um, when I came home, John always does this, it's so sweet. Whatever mail I get, let me back up. Whatever mail I get, when I get home, the packages, he always has them opened. So I can just open them right up. And he had this one opened and I said, what is that? He said, I don't know. And um, so I know it's not gonna work because I think they had it to where when I opened it, it started playing, but it was this. And it started, here it goes, it is. I hope you can see that. I mean, talk about some good PR. <laughs> I know this would make some people mad, but I'm not like that. But it is a Clarisonic, the whole, like, Mia Smart device. And here. Let's see if I can stop it. There I go. But it is a Clarisonic, and it has, like, the foundation brush head. I'm glad it's tied in there good. <laughs> Where will 
I get good at this? When? Okay, but anyway, it says, want brighter looking eyes, the Sonic Awake Eye Massager. Anti-aging visibly reduces under eye puffiness in just one week. Um, so you use that to put on, let's see, smooths the look of crow's feet and lines around the eye contour in just eight weeks. Want firmer feeling contours? Yes. Firming massage head, up to 15 size of aging on neck, face, and decollete. So that's what that head is for, and then that is for the complexion. And then it's a regular um, Clarisonic too, and it has the Daily Cleanse, the Gentle, and the Smart. So I am going to be using this, and if you notice my neck snapping back up, that's what it'll be. Haha, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> okay, and then the last thing I was going to show you is I wanted a darker shade of this, the Infallible Fresh Wear, because my face was tan because I've got to figure out a good way to do that spray tan booth without getting my face. It makes like two passes by your face, and I just don't want my face that tan. I like it now that I've worn it off about halfway. So what do I do? You guys help me with that. Do I maybe leave it on for just like one hour and then wash off my face? Would that be something to do? I don't know. I let everything sit last time for like six hours, but I did wash my face after about three hours last time because I started seeing how tan it was getting already. And um, so, you know, I'm new at this stuff, but I really, I want to go on the beach. I'm going to go on the beach, but I might be under an umbrella most of the time. So I want to have another way of getting sun in the summertime, not getting sun, but being tan. Anyway, so I went to Walgreens to get a darker shade of this infallible, and it was so hard to choose what color. There's so many that are just, that look like they'd be right, but I chose 480, and it actually is a good shade. It's what I have on today. And I did a lot of highlighting, like powder highlighting to kind of match that picture. But it is very close to this, which is my very much love 2WO Dior Skin Glow. So I probably could have just used this, but at the store this just looks so dark. But um, I, I like it enough that I'm going to keep it. And it's not quite as olive as this. Anyway, I wanted to show you because it's such a pretty color. And so if you are you know, a good NC35, I think you would like this color. And then have I seen anybody talk about this? I don't recall anyone talking about this, but it's the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer, more than concealer. And it's like, a, it's supposed to be a corrector too, I believe, plus corrector. And the color I got is 350 Bisque. And I think it did a good job. It's what I've used underneath my eyes. So I wanted to tell you about those because I think both of those are really good. Okay, um, I'm going to do an outfit of the day, but since I just noticed my earrings, I'll tell you about those. Do you guys remember when I got these? They're Bobble Bar, and I got them not last year at the sale, but the year before. And I thought they just kind of went well with this look. I just think about big earrings in the 80s and the 90s for some reason. I remember wearing bigger earrings. And um, the top I have on is from Revolve. It's a Michael Lauren, I believe. And um, I'll just stand up and do my outfit of the day. It's just a casual one. I'll be right back. Okay, so it's just this um, Michael Lauren top. And then my pants are just a new pair of the New York and Company yoga pants. And when they're new, I, like to, I can wear them. I feel like a little bit dressier because they're good and black and they are in good condition. And then the shoes I have on are the Target boots that I showed you, I believe, um, week, maybe week before last. And that's it. It's again, it was like 81 yesterday or 82, and it's warm again today. So I probably won't even need a jacket. Okay, so I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. I hope it's good weather where you are and you spend some good time with your family. And I will probably see you again before the weekend's over. Bye-bye.